So what I've got on display today is the Aerobond Departure Manager and Surface Manager at John F. Kennedy Airport in New York. Uh, this is all built on the Aerobond platform. Uh, Aerobond integrates surface surveillance data, wide area, surface, wide area surveillance data, and other flight information from a variety of sources, including airline data feeds, uh, FID systems, which is the flight information display system, the big board you see up at the airport, uh, and other information from all sorts of different data feeds, either directly from the FAA, from third-party databases, or at other places in the world from other data sources. We tie that together into a, a visual tool that you see uh, situational awareness of what's happening on the airport surface. So here we're looking at a live display at the moment of JFK Airport, where you've got blue aircraft represent the departures, and the orange aircraft represent the arrivals. We have configurable data tags where we can put different data fields depending on what your role is at the airport. And what I mean by role is what organization are you in? Are you uh, an airline employee? Do you work for the airport? Do you work for an ANSP, the Air Navigation Surface Provider, which would be the FAA at JFK? Or do you work for a ground handler? And all of those users can use Aerobond and collaborate, but they use it in different ways. Uh, examples of what an airline would do is they're focused on prioritizing their flights, managing in and around the gate area, trying to get the passengers where they're getting to, and they get them there on time. Uh, the airport's worried about what's happening on the overall airfield, keeping track of uh, maintenance issues, scheduling things like uh, runway plowing, and keeping track of making sure everything is running smoothly. Uh, likewise, air traffic is focused on safety, but they're also managing the flow of aircraft, so they need to communicate and work with the other stakeholders, the airports and the airlines. So, Kind of going back to the picture here, for every flight, we take all those data sources that I enumerated in the beginning, and we create a very rich picture. One, where are the aircraft? And then hundreds of data fields behind the scenes that users may also care about. Things like what was the schedule time? What are the updated estimates? What's the assigned runway, the gate or stand? Uh, up to and uh, including potentially how many passengers are on board? How many first pa class passengers? Is this a priority flight? Uh, and things of that nature anything that a user would need to help make better decisions on the airport. And again, it goes back to what is your role? That depends on what information you're going to actually want to see up here. Aerobond ties that together in a visualization and in a number of tools where you can see things in a timeline order. I can see graphic visualizations of uh, key performance indicators and metrics. So here I'm just looking at a timeline layout of what the flights are. And I can also see how many arrivals and departures we're expecting. Again, all this information can be viewed in real time or I can go back in history and either play the data back where it looks just like this up in a, a video view, or I can go into the database and do data mining and analytics. So I can run reports for last week to see what the airport performed like. Uh, potentially there's a, an uh, upcoming weather storm that we're looking at and trying to track, track, and we want to figure out what had happened last time. Could we do something better? We can go back and analyze that data with an Aerobond. Again, the goal is bring data in, collaborate, share the information, and ultimately make better decisions that save money and let the operation run better.